Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. Today, Suzuki GSX-R 600 time, K8. But wait, two K8s. You don't often see that, do you? This one is a rather gorgeous matte black panel one. Love it or like it. What do you reckon? Do we go for stealth or colour? Or as I say in America, colour. Well, that's how they spell it. So, all these beautiful little bikes. 17 litre petrol tank. And one thing I hate, no bloody petrol gauge. But you do get a light to let you know you've got whatever litres left. Anyway, 17 litre tank on this one, and obviously 17 litre tank on this one. Now the early GSX-Rs, they were 96 brake. We've got a whopping 112.6 brake horsepower in this little 600cc engine. And this one. This one has a rear seat and the rear pegs. You're just not going to put anyone on the back of these bikes. Just, you, you're perched. The best thing you can do to this bike is take them off, put that on there, and take away the rear sets. Now you've got a proper GSX-R. 112 brake horsepower, but they're never quite up to the spec of the R6 or the 636 Kawasaki. Slightly lacking, they say in figures, but when you ride it, to be honest with you, you don't notice a difference. And with a nice sports end count on this one, rather than the underbelly one and a Yoshi one here but yes there's a little bit of damage but does it still sound nice yes it does so what do you prefer are we talking pretty well do you know what my old man once said I've done my bike like a TZR 125 and he said you made it look like a clown bike son for the stealth mode matte black I don't love matte black if I'm honest with you it's bloody hard to keep clean wash polish wax make them look all yummy I suppose realistically that's what I prefer. Nice chunky tie on the back of these. This is where you get the problems when it's matte black, you get petrol stains and any other little bugs, and they all seem to shine and make it look a bit, well, not so stealth, I guess. But I believe there is a polish and stuff you can get that polishes in matte. But are they beautiful looking bikes? Yes, they are. Now I've done a few servicing videos on these already and the base is still going to be the same. Tank up and four plugs, air filter, all changed easy enough. Oddly though, this has got the stealth look, but yet white headlight cover and your white indicators with the old orange bit inside. And in this one we've gone for a bit more stealth with a tinted headlight cover and the tinted indicators. Levers is down to personal choice. I mean this has got the short stubby ones and adjustables still adjustable but obviously standard the fact it's got heated grips means someone would have rode this in the winter ah, beautiful summer bikes these are you can track them as well but all in what a lovely pair of bikes whether you like the matte or the colorful these k8s well they are lovely bikes they sound well i've done a vlog on one of these got a bit carried away and the cam wasn't in the right place but do you know these are nice bikes compared to riding the huge ST1300 Pan Touro, which I've just done a bike ride on. And do you know, I realized after I did it, I was actually sitting with a camera here. If I'd have stuck it on my head, maybe it might have been better, but hey, I didn't realize it was so low. You do sit in them and on them with a smile. So there you go, nice quick look around two K8s. The reason being, I've got a K7 video on here. It's had quite a few views actually, and that's a nice little video. I did mention specs on that one, and someone moaned at me about them. But say, if you look at the specs on the internet, this is 112. I look at another one that says less. So I generally try to stick to MCN specs and information. That's where I get most of my stuff from when you read it on the books and so on. However, beautiful bikes, servicing really easy, specs and info. Already got the ride out, already got how to do them watch the other videos there'll be links around the outside thanks for watching just a quick look round I've even got a video of three K4 and K5s starting up and they do sound lovely these are okay but batteries are off these are going to be winter projects I'm going to service both of these re MOT them next year um, it's nice having steering dampers on these so you do get a little bit of wobble on these you don't necessarily need them in the old early Jexes or the ZX6Rs and the Yammies do have them as well actually. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll keep making them.